Hey everyone, this is the introduction video to this new tutorial series that I'm doing, the uh, top-down, third-person, locomotion and combat tutorial and demo scene. It's a lot of words. Uh, basically, I want to create a um, tutorial on some of the key concepts of making a full game. Um, we're going to have a dungeon setting from the Dungeon uh, Plus Pack PBR, which was just released uh, about a week ago. Um, and uh, we're also going to use for our human, uh, or our main character, the human base plus barbarian pack, which is also uh, relatively new, just a couple weeks old. Um, and we're going to equip those characters with uh, weapons and armor from the weapons and armor pack, uh, number one. Probably just weapons from these, maybe a, a different helmet, probably just weapons. Um, and we're going to put some loot inside the chest from the chest pack, PBR. And we're going to have enemies from um, PBR monster pack, number one. Um, there's three enemies in this package right now, the uh, Mushroom Monster, Giant Worm, and the Rock Monster. So my uh, my plan currently is to have the Mushroom Monster be the general monsters that you encounter in the uh, dungeon. And then you're going to have uh, one or two uh, Giant Worm monsters come out of cracks in the floor. And then the big boss will be the Rock Monster. Um, and uh, the, the key concepts that I'm going to go through... Um, and I should say, as I say here, I, I should say I'm not the best programmer, so there's probably better ways to do everything that I'm doing, and if you know any, please let me know so that I can learn as well. Um, but I'm basically going to set up a, a very simple um, game uh, that, that could be expanded to be a full game, where the human character is controlled via mouse and keyboard, um, and uh, not click to move so much as uh, click toward to go in that direction. So you're going to click on the, um, in the scene and your character will move towards that direction and you'll just move the mouse around to, to change the direction. Um, and keyboard for attacks and magic spells. We're going to go through uh, how to connect um, the, the weapons with the enemies so you know if the weapon hit. Um, we'll do some simple math to figure out uh, the damage done. And we're also going to have some... Um, magic spells for for the same type of uh, same type of thing where you can cast a magic spell and if it hits it will cause damage. Um, we're going to definitely have the magic spells coming from some of the enemies towards the player character. Um, in the dungeon we're going to have some doors that open up with uh, lever switches and um, and of course the chest that the character will open up uh, and to get new weapons or whatnot. Uh, we will have a way of switching weapons out and uh, um, of ending the game when you finally beat the big boss character. So it's going to be a fairly uh, in-depth tutorial. Um, I've set it, set it up so that I've already in installed uh, the SFB chest package, the dungeon package, uh, the giant worm, mushroom monster, and rock monster all came from the, uh, from the monster pack number one and the weapons and armor and the human base and human barbarian came from the human base plus barbarian package. Particle textures are all right here from all those. We have some sample scripts we're probably going to use look at target, maybe we're magic, but we'll create some new scripts as well as we go forward. Um, and one thing to note, I did import these from the asset store, but I did not import any of the SBSAR files save for uh, just this one. I did import the chest, just one for the chest. Um, because I don't have those pre-explored yet, but uh, um, for everything else, I, I just they already have demo uh, textures already in the package. Um, for the dungeon, however, I did have to go to infinitypbr.com, and when I logged in, um, I could download uh, the dungeon demos one v version two right here. It's a big 2.86 gigabyte file, but it'll have the uh, the dungeons. If you register your package, just log into infinitypbr.com, put in your invoice number from the package, and you'll see these this list of uh, downloads that are available for the package that you that you bought. Um, so I'm going to install that now just by simply unzipping it, and I'm going to install a demo uh, one. Dot unity package. We're not going to do number two, just one. This has a full set of, um, of textures for the dungeon. 
Uh, in the end, we're not going to be using them all, but uh, so if you wanted to do this, setting up your own scene, uh, you wouldn't have to import the whole thing, you only would have to import the pieces that you're going to be using. Uh, but I'm not sure what I'm going to be using yet, so I'm just going to import the whole thing. Uh, and I'm going to be happy with this demo one texture set that I've already created. Alright, so I've imported the uh, uh, demo scene files for the dungeon. It's right here. Um, now I'm going to create a new uh, folder here under SFA Studios. I'm going to create a folder called uh, Tutorials. Um, and under, well, let's, let's make that tutorial. Tutorial. And we'll call that, um, this is uh, top down locomotion. We'll just call that uh, top down locomotion. So everything that I create for this. Uh, project is going to be right here in that folder so let's just go ahead and create a new scene um, and we're going to save the scene uh, as and we'll create an SFA Studio tutorial uh, new folder scenes and we'll call this the uh, uh, game scene that's simple enough so now um, when you download any packages all that will be included will be this uh, tutorial folder everything else you'll have to have in there if you don't have them then you're gonna end up getting a bunch of broken um, uh, prefabs and scenes and stuff but all the scripts will be there and any anything we create for this um, tutorial will be in there so uh, even if you don't have all of these packages or if you don't have any you can still download the uh, packages I, I post and you'll get all the scripts from this so there you go this is the end of the introduction